If you're looking for something enlightening and the whole family can enjoy, you'll want to head over to the Robert Ray Art Gallery. A special exhibition is currently underway at the gallery in Algoma. Local 5's Calvin Lewis is in Algoma to show us what we can expect to see. Calvin. Well, Sally, Caitlin, good morning to you both. If you're into paintings, sculptures, maybe it's just some jewelry, then this is the place to be. We are at the Robert Ray Art Gallery talking about the Water Dance Project and some other things that they've got here in store at the exhibition. We're joined alongside the owners, Chris and Dale, this morning. And gentlemen, thank you both for joining us here this morning. Uh, tell us a little bit about this, actually, this showcase right in front of us. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's, what's in this here showcase. It's great to see you today. Thank <laughs> you for being here. Um, we do carry a number of jewelers and potters, sculptors, and we have an artist that does mobiles also from Green Bay, Stephen Haas. And uh, Elise Warman does the silver pieces in this display case. She's from Milwaukee. She is a silversmith. And um, Bren Sibilski does the sculptures that you're looking at right now. She lives on the edge of town in Algoma. She's known nationally and beyond for her sculptures and has won many awards. Oh my gosh, yeah. Including one in a New York competition. And she just placed second in that national competition this month. Wow. So we're really lucky to have Bren Sibilski in the gallery as well. Yeah, that's quite an accomplishment right there. So, right. I mean, a lot of these artists, uh, you know, from jewelry to paintings even, a lot of them are local. How do you guys, you know, track these people down pretty much? Do they come to you or do you go to them? It, it, <laughs> it goes both ways. Bonita Budish has been painting for many decades and she lived in California for about 20 years before returning home to Wisconsin with her California husband, Robert Theaker. And their beautiful works are right behind us and on the walls surrounding us in the gallery. And again, they paint plain air or on site in their canoes on the water's edge as they traverse Northeast Wisconsin. And the poetry that's mounted directly below some of the paintings are by partners in this project, this water dance project. This particular poem, which corresponds to the painting above it, is by Paulette Lawfer. And there's a number of poems throughout the gallery mounted on the walls for visitors to read as they view the uh, wonderful oil paintings and watercolors. Excellent stuff. Well, guys, some great information there. Uh, I just did want to get a quick shot here, if Trent could maybe just pan up here. This is actually one of those mobiles that uh, Chris was talking about here. But it is the Water Dance Project only happening here at the Robert Art gallery in Algoma and there he is giving it a spin. You can find more information over on our website at wearegreenbay.com. It'll be here until mid-October so still plenty of time to come on down and check it out. Stick around we've got plenty much more news to come. Stay with us we'll be right back after the break.